Here we go then, boys and girls. I promised you Endrick in the championship. I delivered you Endrick in the championship. The transfer window slams closed any moment now. All we've got to do from this point on is point our incredibly talented front line in the right direction and watch them drag us to the Premier League. Easy work. Oh, we're already second in the league after four games. I don't know how Forrest have played five games. To remind you, these were the transfers. We spent almost nothing, sold almost nothing, but did sign a lot of talent on loan. And the season has started well, as you can see. The job now is to just play a whole bunch of games and try and get to the Premier League. We're obviously not going to get there in this stream. We've only got three hours or so. Maybe three and a half at a push. Uh, that's not going to be enough to play an entire season. But we could get a big chunk of this season done and hopefully see lots of Endrick shenanigans on the way. I think before any of that, though, we've actually got transfer deadline day. So there is the chance that someone like a Ricky J. Jones could still leave the club, which wouldn't be ideal. We've done our business. We're just waiting for the window to close. This is deadline day. But our business is complete. Whoa, why is Stolazic upset? What's he upset about? Wants to join Bayer Leverkusen. Well, I suppose he probably does. I mean, I'd like to join them too. It doesn't mean the offer is on the table. Have we had an offer from Bayer Leverkusen for Stolazic that I don't remember? Oh, hang on. Oh, crumbs. Oh, crumbs. Oh, crumbs. Oh, crumbs. We're losing our goalkeeper on deadline day. Oh, crumbs. Did I mention oh, crumbs? Probably shouldn't try and do his accent regardless, I guess. You have a release clause. Oh, God, what's his release clause? Don't remind him of that. How do I click on his name? <clears throat> Oh, oh, God, I didn't mean to click on that. I was trying... I was trying to click on... on Bayer Leverkusen. What did I think was going to happen there? I was trying to click on Bayer so just to get me out. Oh, God. Right, what's his release clause? I mean... Massive is what it is. Can we go back into that conversation? Yes, we can. Right, well, it's going to be your release clause then. Simple, really. Um, which means they're not going to... He's not going to go, I guess. Okay, we'll let you go for slightly less than your release clause. If they give me 15 million for him, with a signed replacement player added in... What? with me how much of that are we getting all of it and with that money in we're less likely to have uh, have um solazic sold out from under us because we've got money in the bank now that makes that deal look much more like it now we can say we sold edwards for 11 million that feels much more reasonable Oh, we've got 13 hours to spend £7 million. What areas need strengthening? Nowhere, really. I, we're, we're second in the league with a game in hand, and I was happy with a squad. We don't really need anything, but we've got £7 million to spend, and we've already learnt the lesson when we sold Edwards the first time around. If you don't spend the budget, they just take it off you. So we've just got to we've got to do it. Endrick permanently. I mean, he's out of contract. Do you reckon we could just buy him? I mean, we can't really afford him. We'd be insane to try when we can get him for free in in January. We'll stall that. I'm not spending 
all of it and then some on Endrick. We'll we'll put the offer in. And then what do they say? Somewhere up to like 14 million. Actually, we could probably do about four. We could do it like this, maybe. Problem is, I think even if permanent deals go through now, they still see out the loans. That's certainly the way it happened on FM22. Um, I mean, we can try, can't we? Should we just try and do it like that? Um, okay. Okay. I mean, should we just sign all the loanies permanently? Who wants quite the wage? Yeah, so next available. It won't go through until the end of the season. So he would officially remain on loan until the end of the season when he'd join us permanently. Do not mess with me. Give me all the budget. Right, hold on. Let's just make sure we've still actually got enough to buy him. I don't like this. Mind you, we're going to get promoted this year, so we don't need to worry about higher division clubs. God, can you imagine? Ronnie Edwards might not have got us in new ground, but we might be about to sign Endrick permanently. Similar with Michu, he'd be on loan until the end of the season. He doesn't need any of this. He can. We can leave that on for when we get to the Premier League. Are we get? Are we get? Are we? both join him permanently sweet we've paid a lot for him there but as long as we get promoted once he comes in permanently that 21 million pound release clause for clubs in a higher division is irrelevant because there'll be no higher division so if we get promoted Oh, we have to get promoted or else realistically if we get if we don't get promoted we just sell him on at a slight profit we sell him on for 21 million but assuming we get promoted we have the brazilian wonder kid with still three years remaining on his contract and no release clause and michu is coming in permanently as well so that's a midfielder from paris Saint germain i mean that'll do as well because he's been fantastic So we're now back to needing a goalkeeper because this is the price we agreed to sell him for. Oh, what the hell is this going on as well? Right, forget that. So we need a goalkeeper for three and a half million. Right, James Trafford. We're going to buy you. We're going to buy you and you're going to like it, Trafford. Oh, God, this is so risky. We're doing it before he's actually agreed. Right. Stolazek has been fantastic for a year. This was not the plan for tonight's stream, boys and girls. We spent £50,000 on him and sold him just over a year later for £15.75 million. Jonathan Panzo is always great in FM. Is he still great this year? Because that could be a fantastic sign in at this level. Desire Dewey. Oh, this guy's called Woo. Hold on. Hold the phone. Christopher Woo. Imagine every time this guy scores a goal. Woo. That'd be amazing. It feels like a beta tradition that I signed Jonathan Panzo. So on that basis, we should probably try. I sign him every year. I always love him. Oh, go away, Forrest. You're in our league. You're pathetic. What do you want with this money? You, of all clubs, Nottingham Forest, you big money-wasting waste holes. Thank you. Right, well, he's not having a top division wage rise if he wants that salary. That'll learn him. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Right, Trafford is in as the new goalkeeper. 
<laughs> no, we're not signing Danny Ward, Mike. I mean, we all thought about it. Only you had the balls to actually try it, and I'm not having it. Oh, go away, everybody. I mean, we're just going to keep declining him until he gets upset. I forgot we were supposed to get rid of Tomlinson. I love the fact Endrick's already unhappy. We've not even got him in permanently yet. Right. Oh, well, I don't have the option to delay him. Are we still going to be able to get the other guy? I'll be gutted if we can't get them both and if I get the wrong one. So we've got 5.3 million. So he's two. He's, oh, he's only 750,000. Yeah, that should be fine. You used to be able to delay until the deadline. Hey, Chris, for tomorrow's thumbnail, do you want I signed Bellingham for Peterborough? Where are Birmingham? Birmingham are playing in League One. If they must be joking, playing in League One, asking for that. He would be our best midfielder if we got him, though. I mean, we've got to try, haven't we? Oh, I've got to hit his release clause. I've not got £8 million just to do. Um, I mean, I'm not going to hit his release clause, have I? We can try. I haven't got £8 million flat. I've already got six players on loan. I can't really bring in another loan. Let's just see if they'll be sensible and negotiate. I suggest they probably know what they've got on their hands. Yeah. An £11 million future fee. I mean, if we're heading up to the Premier League, it's £11 million, isn't it? We just take the gamble. It's not as if there's much risk up front. <laughs> what on earth? Well, <laughs> but at that kind of salary, just leave him, leave him out of the squad. It doesn't matter. Right, we've still got two hours left and two million pounds to spend. I feel like we've been here before. What a deadline day! Oh, what a deadline day! There was some shenanigans afoot there. We didn't even get top deadline day deal. Leicester sold Tielemans for 59 million. This is what we're dealing with. Leicester have sold some players. Goodness me. Leicester have sold 220 million pounds of players this summer. Just show them your fingers. Look at the state of them. They're long, aren't they? I'm going to cut them down. Maybe. I should hope so. I can't deal with them. Well. They smell funny. Yes, because Oh, no, I don't like that. They smell <laughs> funny. And make them smell like normal fingers. No. Hello, everybody. My name's Kev. I've been producing this video for you that you've been enjoying greatly. If you want to see this without all of the good, just the good bits squashed together, and you want all the bits where I mess up as well, you can come and watch me do this live most evenings. Twitch.tv slash Delujo. Come over, have fun with us. Sometimes the stream just randomly disconnects because I kick the plug by mistake. It's all good over here. The link is in the description below. Ellingham making his posh debut before his, his less, less talented brother makes his Paris Saint-Germain debut. No, McAtee. I've got too many good players. Can't fit them all in. McAtee's only here on loan. I've got to favour my boys who are here permanently. Oh, Trafford's rubbish. Get Stolazic back. Based on that deadline day alone and this summer in general, we might be in this save for a little while yet. Oh, Ricky J. Jones. I've now signed one in every save I've done this year so far. Perhaps that's going to be a thing. He's the new Phil Foden. Come on then, Harvey. Bang. Um, Endrick is on the bench. That's where Endrick is. Um, Bellingham's just given away a penalty. Very sad. Right, come on, new boy. Ooh. I mean, he's not got anywhere near any of our players there, which is a little far from ideal. But at least he didn't concede a goal this time, like he usually does. Oh, Kwanzaa. 
cannot handle the pressure of being vice captain, apparently. <laughs> we can't lose our first game after that deadline day. We'd started the season so well. Only his fifth goal. It's only like his third game. How many do you expect him to have? He is still just an 18-year-old. What a goal! Oh, Kwame Poku! I tell you what. Jones and Poku have shown in this game why they're starting ahead of Hendrick at the moment. We have a special tab for that that you can't see. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do I enjoy calling myself the talent? Look, every contract I sign has me detailed as the talent. I, I enjoy it very much. But ultimately, I still just go to the scouted player list and pick players from there. Oh, Micah Beerif. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Someone asked why Paul Glatzel is playing midfield. Can we just check who that was? Um, ba -da 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 -da. Ah, Jack said, why on earth is Glatzel playing CM? I'm going to let Paul field that question for you. Uh, Paul, why are you... Oh, ah, okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> We've also got John Jules up front who we tried to sign last summer as well and I'm now really glad we didn't get because we might not have got Beerith if we'd have signed John Jules permanently bum, 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 bum. oh dear there is Sariki Dembele with his goal back at London Road his old stomping ground didn't celebrate it what a good boy Henry Lawrence what a goal he stopped a Vieira shot what he blocked an Arsenal attack, brilliant. Genuinely is like that. You get all eight games drawn at the start. Apparently there's four pots of teams that are seeded and you play two teams from each pot. So you play two teams from the, the top seeds, two teams from the next seeds down, etc. One at home, one away. So it does mean you can be in the ridiculous scenario we were in with Chelsea where we're one of only two teams, I think, who will play Real Madrid away from home. Why on earth does Quick Pick want to put Idozi in up front? I have, we're just playing Endrick. I don't understand it. There's no logic. Endrick starts. I can humour this guy only so long. I'm not playing Idozi up front ahead of our actual superstar striker. Sheesh, we got sent to Viking down. Oh, that's fine then. Most people will be back in a minute when they realise what the alternative is. I thought you, I was worried for a minute there. If you were only sent to Dan, everyone will be back. <laughs> what is this team? This is a team that's going to win the championship. That's what it is. It's weird, Hendrix. Three star for me at Parsham. Three star for you at Ajax. I mean, they're similar quality teams. Dutch League, championship. They seem roughly on the same level. That's unfortunate to concede a goal that early. I am still very much not convinced by Trafford. But we don't have any alternative until January. But it was just a, it was just a, a clip. It were because there was no football manager stream yesterday. Oh dear. That's not going to go down well with the Luton faithful, is it? Goodness me. <laughs> Wowzers. Let's have a look at that one again. Whee! <laughs> he lobbed the keeper ref. Maybe he'll come good here. He's not ripping the championship up the way I thought. Oh, T would. I thought that had been played into the path of Jones there. Oh. Ooh. This is not ideal. Maybe we go back to the 4 3 3. Who is this? Keeping tabs on Ricky J. Jones? We'll have less of that, thank you. No tabs to be kept. Right. Do we go back to the 4 3 3? After one defeat, probably not. One defeat against a team who are promotion rivals. My local shop is Marks and Spencers. I've been paying £5 for meal deals for three years. So, £3.90 in Tesco still sounds like a bargain to me. <laughs> they almost went everywhere today because I was really yanked. I was sat here for ages like, why can't I get into it? And then, yeah, it's a screw top. So they're much easier. The chances of me spilling them on the floor have now lessened slightly. We're 2-0 up. Lovely, lovely, lovely. 
Finally caught your stream. You're the first football manager YouTuber I fan. Loved your non-league television series. Thanks for putting out awesome content. Thank you very much for coming along to the stream. Welcome along. Glad you like what we do. Make sure you drop a follow so you're notified when I'm live again. Why don't I delegate the team chat and save yourself a click? Because I used to do that and every comment on YouTube was, ah, can't believe you don't do your own team talks. So I just start, stopped delegating it and now just click what the assistant manager recommends without even reading it. And it's exactly the same as delegating it, but no one moans about it anymore. So it's just for an easy life. When the game comes out of beta, will the save be continuable? It will be, yes. When you try to redeem, it says you can only redeem this reward during a stream. Interesting. Were you here when the stream went down? Maybe you need to come out and go back in again to make it realise the stream is live. If they're picking the second best option, that's still fine too. I mean, the amount of people moaning that this game is... That's a great goal. That this game is too easy because I win all the time. I don't need to make it even easier by getting even better at it. I do all right by not doing my own team talks. I think it's okay. Have we got many people in the Dream 11? Nobody at all? Okay. James Madison. Just hanging out in the championship. Why not? Milan and Juventus interested in him, but he's just having a lovely old time playing in the championship. Probably shouldn't do this. Anna's going to kill me. Right. Bellingham is cup tied. Boo and hiss. Endrick can come on the bench, though. What's that? We've got one, two, three. We can still fit one more low knee on if we want to. We don't really need to. <laughs> Just said, started to grow chest hair on his lip. Oh, love it. Come on, Dennis. Come on, Ricky. Come on, Dewey! As soon as it starts to slip, it's all coming off. Anna is aware of that. I'm going full Triple H. I'm 48. My haircuts are further apart and shorter each time. Yeah. I don't know if that's even a thing. I haven't been to a barber for three years now. Without looking at it, it does need a bit of a trim, doesn't it? I have to charge the clippers up this weekend. It was like... Not even halfway up my head. I was like, you got to go higher than that. Why Why are you stopping there? Clippers all the way up, please. All the way up. And she just kept getting nervous that she was going too far and wouldn't do it. So in the end, I took over and said, this is where I want. And she's like, well, I'm not doing it up there. Because she was afraid of messing up the top. So yeah, it just saves arguments. And I never have to see myself from the back. So... Tommy Asu and Tierney have both got injured, have they? That's not ideal. I think he's fine. It takes time. If I'd been goalkeepers off after a few matches, Tom Wooster never would have become a star for Leamington. So, we've got to show a little bit of faith. It took Wooster a year and a half to, uh, to establish himself in that Leamington team. And then he went on to play for England, despite signing for us in the conference. So... We've got to give him a little bit of time. 